Hey guys, so if you're watching this part, you're watching the replay, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my makeup. Um, I wasn't going to hop on and do makeup, but I decided that I'm gonna do my makeup first. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna start out with the VFX in 04. And I'm gonna take a, like a kabuki brush. Oh jeez, I can't get it out the whole thing. It's stuck. I'm just gonna throw on some VFX and then I'm gonna talk to you guys. I've got some printout papers. I wanna go over some stuff. I'm just gonna throw on some VFX first. I need some makeup on. Look at that compared to that. Okay. Amazing coverage, guys. So I'm just dabbing, and then I'm gonna start doing circular motions. <clears throat> when you hop on, say hey. If you've sent me a friend's request and I have not responded, please shoot me a message. I have a ton sitting there and I haven't went through them all. So let's just blend it in. Always, always, always blend down your neck, okay? You need to blend down your neck. Like so. And I always kind of drag it and go towards my ears and my hairline. Because we don't want, like, a line. So, like that. Hey, Candy. I'm going to back up. I'm all up in the camera, guys. This hair's got to get pinned back there for a minute. It's all in my face. Let's see. Pin this back or I'm gonna have makeup all over it. We will fix it in a minute. It doesn't have to be perfect. I actually had it pinned back and I took it down because I was like, no, nah, I wanna wear it down. And I was like, I should have left it up because I can do my makeup. <clears throat> but you know, it happens. So let's pin it back. All right, so that's just VFX. I haven't done anything else yet. I just wanna make sure it's blended in. I'm not trying to go all fancy dancy today. I'm just trying to throw on some makeup so I look alive. I'm gonna go in with my three in one. This one, it's got your bronzer, your highlighter, and your blush. I've been using this since end of September and I still have a ton left. So I'm just gonna shadow my face. See the difference? Makes a big difference. Doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. Then I'm gonna take a different brush, more, I guess, defined is what I'm gonna say more of a defined brush I find that I'm able to get more definition doing it this way with a smaller brush right down the edge of my nose it's gonna be kind of bold for a minute but I'll blend it in Cause see, we still have to do concealer, so don't panic. I'm just trying to shadow, shadow my nose a little bit. <clears throat> do y'all do that? Do y'all know how to, do y'all shadow? I do, I always do, always. And when I blend it in, it won't look like that, but I shadow the sides of my nose kind of accentuate it and make it look slimmer. Hey, Courtney. All right, so I'm gonna throw on blush. I always do my concealer after I throw on some eye makeup. I don't do it before. 
and this blush is bright, but it's really pretty. So if you don't like a really light brush, light, bright blush, we have other shades. Throw on some highlighter. <clears throat> now I'm going to take my, uh, my brush and my setting powder and I'm going to blend that in a little bit because it's looking like, whoa, I'm using this brush in here. Let's see, setting powder. And I'm gonna blend this half first so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And when you're blending that contour, don't drag it down, you drag it up. You don't wanna drag it down. See the difference? It's blended to not blended. Makes a huge difference. See the difference? All right. I'm just gonna do like base face. I don't think I'm gonna go all crazy and do eye makeup today. <clears throat> Cause I really came on here to talk to you guys. Got some papers printed out, some stuff I wanna go over. So I'm just gonna do like a base face. I'm gonna find my lip color that I normally wear by itself, which is 01. I love 01 by itself. It's one of my favorites. We're gonna do brows though and eyeliner and mascara though. And deal with the rest without having anything on. What am I looking for? My brow color in dark brown. So this is our brow color that I use. It's in dark brown. If you're hopping on, please say hey. I don't know who else on here. So I just fill in my brows and I'm lightly following the natural line. I start at the bottom and then fill in. Like that. But it ex makes your eye, it accentuates your eye and makes you look like you have an eye lift. It's the reason why I say brows are important and brows matter, because they really do. They make your makeup. And I'll lighten them up some, they're kind of darker at the second. That's so why you got a handy spoolie on the other end to lighten it up if it gets a little too dark. Because I just want them to look natural. Very natural makeup. Get this band over here. She was trying to hide, didn't want to get filled in. That's what I do. And they don't have to match, guys. So, I see a lot of people, like, they're like, oh, my gosh, my eyebrows don't match. They're, they don't have to match. They're still going to look good. I promise. I promise. My hair's flying around in my face. <clears throat> should I do eyeshadow or should I not? Do y'all want to see eyeshadow? I don't know what one to do, but... Eyeshadow or no eyeshadow? Should I or shouldn't I do eyeshadow? Tell me what y'all think. It doesn't have to have it. What do y'all think? While I'm waiting on y'all's response, I'm going to do my lipstick. And I'm going to do 01 in the Stay Matte. So our brushes are designed to where you can line your lips. Just flip it over and line them. So just like that, that's what I would do. Do y'all want to see eyeshadow? 
I don't know which eyeshadow to put on. Let's see. Nope, I did that the other day. This is the Sunset Kiss Trio. Sunset Kiss Trio. I'm going to throw on a little bit. What's everybody doing today? Everybody's quiet. Hey, Chris. How are you? Where did that brush go? I don't know. This one's going to have to work. Okay. It'll work. So I'm going to go in with like the reddish color in this one. This is a narrow brush. Just something I can have a little more control with. And I've had someone ask me about the pigments in these. They are pigmented. They are really good. Hey, Amy. This is the VFX. All right, so I'm going to take the gold, the gold in the Sunset Trio. I'm going to tap it on. I did VFX today. I just felt like throwing that on today. Normally I wear CC cream. If y'all ever watch my lives, nine times out of ten, I'm putting on CC cream. And today I'm going to actually take, instead of using the lighter one in that, I have actually found that the one in the Smoky Eye Trio, the white right here, is really good. I love these colors. I did a live and I used these two with the purple pigment. Guys, it was so pretty. But I love the white in this one. Like, I have never found a white that actually showed up. But this one does. I'm just going to top it on and then I'm going to like put it in my corner of my eye. That's not blended. I haven't blended anything yet. Which they actually kind of blend together without really having to do much. I do like that. But I love this white color. It's like my favorite that I've ever used. It is amazing. All right, so, hey Whitney, I'm gonna take my little fluffy brush here and I'm just gonna blend out these harsh edges. I don't want no harsh edges. This is just a natural look. And I've got some harsh edges going on because of the way that I put the makeup on with the smaller brush. Blends out so pretty. So pretty. Okay. So that is the eyeshadow. I'm not doing a wing. I don't feel like doing a wing. Too much, too much, too much. No, no, no. I'm trying to stay natural. What's everybody doing today? I um got up, took the kids to school, prepped coffee before I left, so I got lucky with that. Any other day, I forget to prep it. But last night, I was on a roll, and so I did it. I remembered. But normally, I'm like having to stop at the store to get coffee. And I ain't got time to be doing all that mess every day. Kind of glad I did not need to stop today because I did not have time. Okay, so there's my eyeliner. And we're going to use the Zen mascara. I'm going to curl my eyelashes first.
I always curl my eyelashes. Do y'all curl y'alls? I curl mine. I don't always curl them, but I normally prefer to. All right, so I'm going to go in with the Zen. The reason I like this one, you see, it's got the shorter and the longer on one end. I still haven't done concealer. I'm going to forget about it. Don't really need it, but I'm going to throw some on anyways. My hair is all in my face, guys. Y'all see that? It's getting on my nerves. Like, move. Um, Whitney, I've been seeing your post. I meant to message you the other day. Are the girls feeling better? Because y'all had been sick, right? Hey, Heather. Hey, Megan. Okay. That's just one coat of Zen. Love this mascara. Now that I've figured out how to use it. It took me a minute because it's got a different wand. But now that I've figured it out, it's like one of my favorites. One of my favorites. If I'm quiet, it's because I'm focusing. Sorry, guys. Them little bottom eyelashes drive me crazy. Who has issues with them? They drive me crazy. And then I always have one eyelash on that does better than the other. Don't know why. One side always does better than the other. <coughs> I'm going to have mascara on the bottom of my face. Might be glad I didn't do concealer yet. Excuse me, guys. Sorry. My allergies have been adding up. Anybody else's or is it just mine? Because I don't think it's just mine. I hope it's not just mine. This weather's got me all messed up. We've been sick since Christmas, had hand, mouth, and foot, and then after strep throat and just a week, we finally get better. Thank goodness. Girl, you had it. I've seen it. I've seen your post. I was like, girl, I feel bad. Like, having two babies sick at the same time, I, I've been there. I've had the whole household sick at one time. Hey, Roxanne. All right, guys, I'm just going to throw out some concealer. And y'all don't judge me. I, I really prefer using my finger to put on my concealer. I've actually got to order another one because I'm about out. Okay. So, I'm, I use my finger. Y'all don't judge me, okay? I love y'all. But, I prefer using my finger under my eyes because my sponge I feel like it just takes it away and it doesn't do what I want it to do so I blend it out with my finger okay okay who else uses their fingers I mean I use mine okay so that is my face. That is my face for the day. Let me get this chair. This chair's about broke, guys. And my kids come up here and they play with my stuff. And they're like, Mama, your chair legs are loose. I'm like, yeah, because y'all are playing on my chair. I'm going to invest in me a chair. Okay? Okay. That's what's going to happen. Because, And I'm going to invest in an office because I am tired of them messing up my stuff. And I need a backdrop again. It's driving me crazy. So now I'm just going to take my setting powder and I just kind of blot it. I do have oily spots. And I blot it in my oily spots 
always blot under my eyes. And then the rest, I just kind of go over it. I always go over it again. All right, Winnie, thanks for hopping on, honey. All right. That is my final face. So now we're going to talk. We get to the fun stuff. And I'll take this hair down because it's looking like a hot mess like that. So I've had a lot of messages pop on and people have been asking me, um, why did you choose pharmacy? Why, you know, I've been with other direct sales companies. So a lot of people have asked me, you know, why did you leave? You know, was it because you weren't happy? It wasn't my upline. It had everything to do with the products not working for me. So I've been with two other direct sales now. Two main ones that I focused on that I sold, that I actively sold. Then I had one I never really pursued. I've been with another direct sales company that had absolutely zero to do with makeup. And um, so anyways, so I know about direct sales. I love direct sales. I love Facebook. I love network marketing. I think it is, it is amazing. It's no different than going to Walmart. It's no different than going to Walgreens. And you get the same value, um, you know, price-wise as you would comparing to Walmart, Sephora, Ulta, so on and so forth. The only difference is you're helping out your friend or your family member or, you, you know, anyone that is in direct sales. It actually helps them and it benefits an individual versus a huge corporation. So, just going to throw that one out there. But let's talk why pharmacy. Why pharmacy? Why why am I so passionate about what I do now? What is different? What is different? So, let me tell you what's different. <clears throat> because it is a huge difference in the product. Huge difference. So, first thing I want to talk about is why pharmacy why why pharmacy so over here on this little paper that i have printed out for you guys we have paraben free okay we have dermatology tested okay we have endangered plants are not used okay i never even thought about plants being used in our products okay or in makeup or in anything like that who would have ever thought that okay I never would have thought about the plants. Would you? I wouldn't have. Okay. We have SLS free. We are animal ingredient. Our ingredients are not tested on animals. Not tested on animals. And we do not use any animal ingredients in our products. Okay. They are manufactured in a laboratory environment. They are phosphate free. They are formaldehyde-free, faulte-free, non-GMO, not tested on animals, and family-owned and operated. Some of our products are even gluten-free, okay? So, this is a huge reason why I loved pharmacy. Huge reason. I have a lot of friends who have gluten intolerances, and they could not wear anything that from the stores or from the other companies I was with. And guess what, guys? They can wear it now. The girl ordered CC cream. She has had no issues. And she absolutely loves it. Okay? That is a big, big, big reason. Another reason I want to show you. And I'm not comparing companies. This is just a price chart. So, before anybody thinks I'm comparing companies, I am not comparing companies. Okay? When you get with other companies or Sephora, Ulta, these are just a common range. Other companies' primers are going to run you $39. With pharmacy, our primer's $13. Okay, our foundation for the VFX is $24.90. But, but, if you're like me, this is my friend. I love the CC cream. This is actually $16.90. This stuff is awesome. Like, I still have a lot in here, and I've had it since October. It is awesome. Like, it is, I cannot rant enough 
about some CC Green. Okay, I just can't. I love it. All right, Arkans, other people's concealer is going to run you around twenty nine dollars, and ours is ten. Setting powders thirty two. Ours is thirteen. Contour palettes can run forty nine dollars and more. I've actually one I wanted was like seventy some dollars. I'm like I cannot afford that. So the contour palette I just used on my face is twenty two bucks. You get your highlighter, your blush, and your bronzer. Okay, our highlight stick is 15 others can run upwards of 39 dollars blush 24 ours is 10 so our total with pharmacy is only 108 and if you did the cc cream you're at 90 um say 100 bucks okay others you're going to pay 252 if not more okay i've been with other direct sales companies I still had these prices and I was only saving 25%. Did you know these prices right here can be cut in half just by just by choosing a $19.99 kit? Don't have to sell, but you get the discount of your own products. How awesome is that? Okay. So this 108 literally just turned into 54 bucks for me. All because I paid $19.99. That is a no-brainer. No-brainer. At all for me so let's talk about the 1999 kit because it doesn't have a lot no it doesn't but this is a great option for those that cannot afford to buy a bigger kit okay because we do have other options I'm gonna go over them as well so you have the 1999 kit you get your box you get your little baggies it's gonna come with five catalogs it's going to come with the information about pharmacy, what pharmacy is, our comp plan. You're going to get a skincare. Um, I should have brought my stuff up here. My a skincare, like how to, what would be good for what skin type. You get a color chart matching now. Um, you get lipstick samples. You get all different kinds of samples. The samples vary from kit to kit, so they're not always going to be the same. But guys. For $19.99, you also get the 50% discount, 50% commission, a free website, no monthly quotas, no annual fees, no nothing, okay? The only thing you have to do in a six-month period is make a purchase, and, and then in six months, you would just make another purchase to keep your discount. So, say you joined today, it is January, then in June... Like, say you didn't order anything except for in January. Say in June, you would go back in and you would just place another order, whether it's just um, shampoo and conditioner or a foundation. Any order counts, okay, to keep your discount. So, I'm going to throw that out there. So, this is our $19.99 kit. So, with the $19.99 kit, you have add-ons. You still pay for the $19.99 kit, though, okay? They do sometimes have promotions, but we're not there right now. It's $19.99 kit. You also have the option of a $49 kit. We have a $49 kit, which is going to include a cream eyeshadow foundation, tea tree serum, age reverse eye cream, extreme curl mascara, lash and brow serum, liquid matte lipstick, a lip liner, a liquid eyeliner, blush, eyebrow pencil, and Kalindua face cream. Some of this is subject to change, but normally the list is still the same. So, if they may not have an extra extreme curl, you may get a different mascara. You know, it's just, that's just kind of how it works. And that's with any direct sales company. So, this is the $49 kit. Then we have a $125 kit. These are options. I literally did the $19.99, went back in and made my own kit. Because that's, I just wanted to purchase my own stuff. So, that's what I did. But now, I wish I would have got the $200 kit. But we'll get to that one in a minute. So, the $125 kit, you're going to get everything that I've mentioned in the $49 kit over here with this one, okay? So, you get all of these products plus these products. So, the $125 kit is going to have all the contents of the $49 kit plus you get a garlic oil serum. You get, um, what is that? A mask? the complex mask, you get a firming mask, charcoal gel face wash, tea tree cream, calendula balsam, aloe cream, 
Age Reverse Moisturizer, BB Cream, CC Cream, VFX Primer, and 3D Mascara. Okay, so that's our $125 kit. Then we have this one, which is the contents of all of our kits together for $200. Okay, so you're going to get the $19.99 kit. You're going to get all of this other stuff. And then you're also going to get two more BB Creams. Two more CC creams, an aloe mask, aloe lotion, charcoal tonic, tea tree clay mask, gold mask, glitter liner, lavender sleep spray, and the garlic shampoo, which is my absolute favorite. Y'all hear me rant about that one all the time. It's my favorite. So, I wanted to go over the kits because I've had some friends of mine asking me, what's the difference? You know, why did you choose pharmacy? The products speak volumes and they speak for themselves, literally. I have the oiliest skin that I've ever seen in my life, and my makeup will last all day, okay? That's never, ever, ever, ever happened. I feel like my lighting is wonky. Let's fix it. We're just going to cut it out. I don't know. Anyways, so I just feel like I want to share this with everyone. I love our products. I love everything about this company. I love my upline. I love the products. I love getting to meet new people. I love everything about this. And the fact that my face looks flawless and it stays this way, I was mind blown. Okay? Mind blown. So, if you have questions, you've been thinking about it, you don't know what you want to do, maybe you've just been wanting to try a foundation because you're like, this is too good to be true. That's okay because I'm going to help you with your foundation. I have paper over here. I have been printing stuff off all morning, planning to go live, and I was like, I got to go live. So... If you want to try a foundation first, you totally can. And I promise you, when you get it, you're going to fall in love. But my recommendation for anyone, nine times out of ten, is going to be the CC Cream. Because it is my absolute favorite. So, CC Cream is $16.90. It's actually a color correcting. It is for all skin types. It is a light to medium coverage. I would have to disagree. I think it's more of a medium coverage to kind of like full coverage. But it's definitely not heavy. It is extremely light. It has SPF 25 in it. We also have a BB cream. So if you have dry skin, um, this is would be my recommendation for you. Um, it's a semi-matte finish. It's for all skin types. It is a light coverage. It has SPF 15. The Luminous Serum is for, for dry skin as well. It has a dewy finish. For dry, it's for dry skin, medium coverage, SPF 15. So, I have a girl on my team. I'm going to talk about her because I love her and she's awesome. She has extremely dry skin. Uh, well, I have two of you guys I'm going to talk about. So, they had tried a lot of different foundations. They have been with other companies and they their makeup didn't look the way they wanted it to. Okay. They um, literally <laughs> was cakey. It was thick or it come off. It didn't on and personally these two are their favorite so the bb cream and the serum foundation okay we have the stay matte i don't i've used the stay matte i prefer the cc cream and i'm an oily girl i prefer this and then so we do have the stay matte this for oily skin it is high coverage it is shine control pore minimizer the vfx which is what i have on today it is actually if I have to throw a stick between CC and VFX, let me be honest and tell you, buy the CC. And the reason I say that is because the coverage to me is no different. I love the CC cream over the VFX. So, my personal opinion. I have not tried the Pita Cream Foundation, but it is a dewy finish, all skin types, full coverage. It is a wax-based cream. So, if you are, have been with a company that is wax-based, maybe this is what would be good for you. Not quite sure, but this one is wax-based cream. And it is a cream-to-powder finish as well. So, I just wanted to come on here and talk to you guys. So, if y'all have any questions, you've been thinking about trying something, you're hesitant, please come to me. If you've been thinking about joining and you're like, I just don't know if I can do this, anybody can do this. If you have a phone... You can do this. If you are like me, a stay-at-home mom, you want to get out of your shell, anybody can do this, guys. Anybody. If I can do this, I promise you, you can do this too. And even if you don't want to sell, you just want it for the discount, I am totally cool with that because 
that was a no brainer. That was ultimately the reason I joined. And if my girl is still on here, she would know. Um, Chris, shoot me a message and I will send you my link and, um, I will give you my, um, code and then you just go on and you choose your kit, which normally people choose the $20 kit. I, hey, I did. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I did. Sure did. Mm -hmm, Cause I'm broke. I ain't got no money. But anyway, <laughs> anyways, so, um, I did the $20 kit and then, um, that's it. And then as soon as you join, you have your 50, 50% 50 off. So, um, if y'all have any questions, message me. I will help you guys. I will set you up for success. I am all about teaching people to run their business, work your business. I am here for you. If you need graphics, if you don't understand what you're doing, you don't know how to do lives, you don't, don't know, you know, you're not comfortable with lives. I'm here to help you to break out of that because I have a girl right now. She's only done three lives the whole time she's been on. She did two this month and the girl, the girl ran, okay? She ran off of two lives. Two lives, that's all it was, two lives. So you don't have to be consistent with lives. Posting, I'm consistent with posting and I'm more than willing to share anything with my, with, I mean, really anybody, but I'm just saying. I love you guys. I'm gonna hop off. Chris message me. Actually, I'll message you if you give me a minute. And um, I will talk with you guys soon. I will be in the car line. So y'all know y'all gonna see me in a little while. But I'm gonna go mop my floors because if I don't, they ain't gonna get done. I'll talk with you guys soon.